Reynolds number is the ratio of inertia forces and viscous forces, and it helps to determine whether the flow of the water is laminar or turbulent. Here shown we have the Reynolds number equation. Reynolds number equation consists of density, velocity, diameter, and viscosity. Laminar flow is very uncommon to be seen in real life. It occurs when the fluid's viscose forces are greater than the fluid's inertia forces. When Reynolds number is less than 10 to the third, the flow is to be considered laminar. Laminar flow is smooth and predictable, and as seen to the picture on the right, the streamlines are steady and constant. Most flowing fluids are turbulent. This occurs when the fluid's inertial forces are greater than the fluid's viscosity forces. When Reynolds number is greater than 10 to the fourth, the flow is considered to be turbulent. Turbulent flow causes swirling, unsteady streamlines as seen in the picture to the right. This causes unpredictable flow in the fluid. As seen in the simulation, you can see that laminar flow is smooth and steady, while turbulent flow has irregular fluctuations and mixing. In real life applications of Reynolds number, the flow is most certain to be turbulent. Reynolds number can be used to calculate the coefficient of friction in pipes and it helps to describe the overall behavior of a fluid. As seen in the picture to the right, Reynolds number can be used with other fluids such as air on a moving car.